Hi everyone, I'm your global social media specialist, Shayla Krim, and today we're talking about social media compliance. We love how passionate you are about forever and encourage you to continue to share your forever success stories within marketing materials, social media posts, and testimonials and communications. However, when doing so, it is imperative that you not only mention the amount of hard work and commitment it took to earn your achievements, but also that the proper income and product disclosures made through disclaimers are incorporated where necessary. Disclaimers serve the dual purpose of maintaining compliance with regulatory mandates and providing transparency to our value customers and you, our forever business owners. So let's start off with a few do's and don'ts for how you share social media content. Here's three do's and don'ts. Do make sure disclaimers are easily noticeable on your forever living post content but don't have a disclaimer that is hidden or difficult to find within your forever living content. Don't bury the disclaimer in a post or hide it in the corner of an image. Make sure it is prominently placed. Do post earning claims that convey realistic expectations about income or incentives and how an FBO can achieve them, but don't showcase an earned forever living incentive or income in a post that does not reflect the typical income that FBOs can reasonably expect to earn within the context of the forever business opportunity. Even if the post is true, it must also be typical of FBOs to be able to post it. Do describe product features or benefits using language that appears in Forever's own company approved materials. Make sure to also use the provided product disclaimers to ensure that you aren't making an unsubstantiated medical claim. But don't reference diseases or illnesses in connection with Forever products in a way that would give the impression that our products can diagnose treat, cure, or prevent these conditions. The use of images or hashtags that would make similar implications are also prohibited. We drafted some specific disclaimers for you to add to your posts where necessary to help ensure that you remain compliant. However, it is important to use the appropriate disclaimer depending on what incentive or product you are talking about. You also might need to revise the disclaimer to fit your local laws, rules, regulations, or circumstances. As explained, using disclaimers helps protect both the company and your business by being transparent. Here are a few recommended disclaimers for use when describing potential benefits of our amazing products, either for our wellness products or personal care products, depending on which one you're referencing. When posting about the forever to drive or chairman's bonus incentives, we ask that you utilize specific disclaimers as well. And finally, we ask that you use the following disclaimers when discussing Global Rally, Eagle Managers Retreat, and when you achieve a new gym level. We hope these guidelines provide you with more tools as you speak about forever living on social media or other marketing materials. For any questions, please contact the home office legal and compliance team at compliance at foreverliving.com. Reach out to your foreverliving.com local website, to your local office for an FBO disclaimer guidance document or a Word document containing all the disclaimers so they can easily be shared. Keep up the hard work and thanks for all that you do to help keep forever compliant.